What's going on guys? Welcome back. It is Institutional here and this video is going to be for the systematic trading series again. And this one is going to be a little bit quick. It's going to be fast. It's just a couple of things that I wanted to go over my head and help you guys when we're talking about systematic trading, right? <clears throat> so we talked about about majority, most of the things that we need to do when we're having a systematic approach to trading. We talked about um, waking up. We talked about having a solid time schedule. We have talked about the patterns that you need to do. And now we have to talk about your journal, right? So your journal is very important because when it comes to your journal, we're going to go ahead and go to my journal now. Um, you need to have also a systematic approach when it comes to your day-to-day -day basis, right? So what I have is before I wake up, right? This might be a little bit of stuff that's personal, but I mean, I don't really, I don't really matter. It's just uh, stuff that I do before I wake up. So I wake up at seven, I'll screen them to A, read a book, up to the charts, and do whatever I have to do, right? Back test and then after trading, all of that stuff. So this is stuff that obviously it might be to your liking, um, but it's just understanding, right? What can you do or what can you do better to, again, have that systematic approach to trading? So what you can first start with is now building a trading plan, right? So we can go over my trading plan really quick. And what I have in my trading plan, there's a couple quotes here that helps me understand it. And I try to go through these every morning, right? So depending on what I'm trading here, we can go, I went and determine the daily bias and no trades before 30, look for the epics volatility, right? So you can add that. But let's say, you know, you don't trade the way that I trade. You don't trade um, M M3 fair value gaps. You don't trade order blocks. And you don't trade the well, ICT mentorship as taught as for 2022, right? If you don't trade that. Let's say you do trade, for example, you trade bull flags, right? Um, I don't have anything against bull flags. I just understand that for both of these ends, there is liquidity, right? So I think about price as a box. And I think we already talked about this, that we haven't. We'll talk about it in the next video. But basically, price is like a box. It has to grab this point. And once it grabs this point, it'll most likely grab this point. So when it comes to bull flags, right, I look at it like this, right? It has to grab this liquidity. I want to grab this liquidity. Then I'll grab this liquidity. But if it grabs this liquidity first, then we'll most likely gonna come back down to this liquidity, which means now your bull flag will be invalidated, right? But to the point is, if you build enough data, to have a solid foundation with the bull flag that makes it work for you, right? If you have, I don't know, five losing trades and five winning trades, and those five winning trades are five to ones, guess what? You're profitable. So it doesn't really matter. It's what database do you have for yourself that can help you achieve this to become a profitable strategy, right? You can trade MAs for all you want. And if you have a solid risk management and you have a solid database and you understand how your trading plan should go about it, then you're able to get that solid strategy, right? So you guys can take a look at this, a little bit of my training plan. This is more focused on the 2022 mentorship of ICT, but obviously it's not the one that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. There's another edition that I have, but this is just a quick one so you guys can take a look of it and you know take whatever you guys want from it if you guys want to. Um, a couple of examples here, a couple of trading management here, and then we have the afternoon session entries here as well, right? So you guys can pause and take a look at it, whatever you guys want. Just a quick little video so you guys can understand when it comes to having a trading plan. The next thing will be now is having a checklist. So same thing for here, I don't have anything updated here, but just so you guys can get an idea of it. So when it comes to your checklist, this is what you wanna have, right? Before you enter a trade, or after you enter a trade, you wanna take a look at both of them. So before you enter a trade, you take a look at your trading plan, you understand what it is according to your trading plan. If it is, then you take it, right? After you've done that, then you can go ahead and put it in the checklist. And this is how you're able to now start creating your setups because let's say, this entry, I took an entry at 10.30, right? And that entry at 10.30 always works. And I understand that at 10.30 is when I want to be trading that specific pair. But let's say I took a trade at 12 p.m. And at that time, it never works. So I know that at that time, I never want to take a trade. So this is how you're now able to circle your setups from A setups to B setups to C setups, right? And this is how you understand what trades to take and what trades to not take, right? It's very important to start building that data because... If you are just, if you do have the systematic approach to trading, but you're just trading blindly, then you're you're essentially gambling because you have no idea what you're doing wrong. And this is something that I've struggled with for a long time, but now I understand that's the way you have to approach trading, right? If I understand what I'm doing wrong, if I understand that I should be taking trades after 12, then I will never do that again. I understand that my stop loss has to be, instead of three pips, it has to be five pips, right? Then I'll never take a three pip stop loss again. And then after that, guess what, then you go ahead and put it in your trading journal. So you have a journal here and you have a trade journal here that you can go over 
and then you put it there. We're not going to go over that because I have a lot of trades there, but that's what you do, right? So you have your trading plan right there that you follow before you take any single trade. You go over this if you want to in the morning. I always go over this in the morning, whether it's this one, whether it's my original one, I go over them in the morning. Now this week, I'm going to be focused on this one. So I'll be going over this every single morning before I wake up. After I'm in the charts, right, like around eight, I'll be going over this. See exactly what I need to do. Remind myself that I only need three to four credit hours per month to make 10%, right? Have key notes and always have a systematic approach. Think about it like you have to be a robot when it comes to trading, right? So if you understand what you're doing right and what you're doing wrong, then you're able to achieve that. And then after I'm done with the trades, I'll also take a look at my checklist a little bit before it just to understand also a little bit perspective of what I'm looking at. Uh, once I am done with that, then whatever trades I take, two max per day, I'll go over them, I'll put them in my journal. I put them on my checklist and I made sure that what I did was right. And if they were two losses, then there were two losses, but there were two winners, there were two winners. But I still approached it with a systematic approach where I'm going over it every single day, whether it's a winning day or whether it's a losing day, right? And I'll make sure I understand what did I did right or what I did wrong. And even if it's a winning trade, what could I have done better? Because even if you won trades, you could have held for longer and you closed early. And why did you do that? And if you don't know why you did that, guess what? You're gonna keep doing the same mistake over and over and over again. So this is why you need to have that kind of approach to training where you have a journal, where you have your checklist, and where you have after the fact when you took the trades, right? So I hope this helped you guys a lot. Again, we're gonna keep going on with the series, but it's just a little quick rundown of what we're supposed to have when it comes to your journals and how you guys can benefit from having that ideology of having that systematic approach to trading but yeah if you guys have any questions make sure to dm me follow me on instagram like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one all right safe trading guys